Welcome back to Norman J. Warren Bloody Terror Horror Movie Marathon. Yes, baby. Prey is next up on our list, and Prey, or like they say in the United States, Alien Prey. This is a science fiction horror story about this alien explorer that comes to planet Earth to find out if there's anything eatable for its race. We never get to see its race or their home planet or even his spaceship because everything is so low budget. Well. We get to see this audio dialogue that he is coming to planet Earth and now he's landing and then he runs into this very unlucky couple and of course he kills them and then he assumes the man's form. And then we are introduced to our heroine couple, a lesbian couple. They are living in the countryside and kind of isolated from the other villages because they're lesbians and that is a big big no-no in the 70s British. A British um, uh, community. This alien who has assumed the man man's form arrives to their cottage or the mansion, whatever is that supposed to be, and then the triangle drama starts. And of course, it includes some sex scenes, nudity, and of course some eating scenes, gory scenes. Yes, the plot is basically this. It's it's a triangle drama, like I said, but it has some interesting elements, especially in the year 2021. <laughs> this film has a weird uh, kind of attitude towards men because it depicts men like monsters, or at least this one man. The dominant partner of this lesbian couple, I don't remember, was it Josephine or Jessica? I don't remember, names are not important. But she has clearly very prejudiced attitude towards men and she makes it very clear that this guy is not welcome. And I don't blame her because this guy is a fucking weirdo. He's a fucking weirdo. He constantly wa watches the bird like he's about to eat it. And yes, he eats it later on in the movie <laughs> and also he pukes when he's served vegetarian food and there is this weird party scene where this lesbian couple dressed this guy up like a woman <laughs> and of course the alien doesn't understand what's happening and yeah it's, it's pretty strange it's pretty strange this whole film is pretty strange indeed and what makes it even stranger is the completely electrical score by Somebody got some guy called Ira Stanley. I don't remember any other work from him, but uh, in the commentary they told me that he was making this kind of archival music for documentaries and stuff like that. So it's a weird, very weird little film. And the idea for this film was conceived by the producer Terry Marceau, who has done some other things too and directed also a few things. And he approached director Norman J. Warren and told me, yo, yo, I got this great idea about a lesbian couple who are who are stalked by this alien and Norman said, well, fuck yeah, that so sounds awesome, I'll do it. And then he got told that, well, actually we don't have any script and we are going, we are going to shoot in Shepperton Studios uh, for 10 days and we and we are starting in three weeks so holy or, what, or was it even two weeks but holy shit to shoot a movie with 50,000 pound budget in 10 days or was it 11 if you count the last night <laughs> count, count the last night as one day well that is achievement and I can appreciate the film more when I heard about this production in the commentary the film is only 85 minutes, but yes, like the Satan Slave, this is kind of slow burner too. <laughs> I, I understand where they're going with all this slowness and it kind of makes shocking, the more shocking these scenes where this alien actually shows his face. You know, it's kind of crude makeup, but... Uh, <laughs> It kind of looks like a, like a children's fox makeup, but it's kind of creepy. It's kind of fucking eerie, especially the scene in the bed. Everybody who has seen the film remembers that scene. I would give it two stars, but after learning this production cycle that this film had, I gotta tell, I gotta hand it to the makers and give this film three stars, but a weak three stars. Let's call it a weak three stars. Yeah. This thing here is mastered in 2K, of course, like the others in this box, and the picture quality is very, very clear. And 
compared to these babies I have here. This is the Prey on Finnish VHS tape, Harley tape. <laughs> Check this out. Check this cover out. Check this out. <laughs> it's like a ch children's drawing. <laughs> and also I have this very rare Kauhu Kino Kolmos Kanava release. This is also a Finnish release. And uh, I was kind of amazed because this is uncut for the sex and violence. But this thing here is 10 minutes shorter. This is 75 minutes. And what this thing cuts is that scene, exact scene I was talking earlier in my review. This scene where they dress up this alien as a woman, which is kind of more interesting scenes in the whole whole film, in my opinion. This has a beautiful, excellent cover, this Uhri release. Kauhu Kino is number one of the horror kino release. And this thing is very rare. And unfortunately, I have the copy covers, but the tape is original as fuck. <laughs> I can promise you that. But this thing here is even weirder than, <laughs> than this cut, which was 10 minutes shorter. For some reason, my copy of this tape, this copy uh, begins in the middle of the film. This begins somewhere around 30 minute mark when the lady, other one of the lesbian girls, is taking her bra off at the beach. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I couldn't find ev any evidence of this tape that it would have been fixed. Because that could happen that you would cut the tape for like your your recorder would eat up the tape and then you would tape it up to make it stick back. But no, no, no such damage can be found uh, on on this tape. But yeah, I don't know what happened. Maybe they fucked up in the in the in the when they were making copies <laughs> this spray. <laughs> Maybe they were too busy drawing this cover that they didn't know, even notice that. Oh shit, our movie is beginning from 30 minutes mark. Well, I don't know what happened. But this this is well, this is not too common tape either. This spray. Both of these are pretty rare, and here they are both these babies. But I take any day this. Also, the some kind of foreign foreign poster here and greenish blu-ray also and the, there was commentary uh, with of course the director and the film historian Jonathan Rigby I listened to these commentaries and I like listening uh, I like listening Norman J Warren he's he has very much to say about his productions and he seems to remember very vividly about everything that happened in the sets. And if you listen to commentaries and you watch the extras, there's gotta be some parallel things that come out. You know, you know, same things are repeated over and over, but I guess, I guess you cannot avoid that. Another extra here is BH HP interview with Norman J. Warren. It was an hour long interview and also Norman Norman explaining about the productions and also the early years after the war, what, what was it like to live in London and fascinating stuff. Also we have the Anchor Bay DVD documentary Keep On Running, 34 minutes about the making of this film with also with uh, with a director and other, other members of the cast remembering th their experience on making the prey and also the infamous mud pond scene. Ooh, shit, that, that's gotta be nasty. You know, the very stale pond and probably was filled with dead fish and <laughs> dead birds and stuff like that all sank into the bottom and when they entered the pond and start waving their arms and legs so every fucking shit came to the surface and Fuck, I can imagine the stink of that place. Well, <laughs> watch the documentary to get a vivid description about that. And also we have on-set footage, uh, three minutes worth of on-set footage from the Praise location shoots. And then we have a bunch of Norman J. Warren's short films. There's The Bridge and Carol and um, a couple of commercials. So. This thing is filled with extras, like the previous disc. I love it, I love it. So this thing is a must-have if you want to sink your teeth into the filmmaking world of Norman J. Warren. I have put the link to get it from Amazon UK in the description if you want to use that. I would appreciate it because it will help my channel. Thank you very much. But next up I'm gonna be watching Terror and I will not be posting this next video 
tomorrow, but I will post it the day after. And now this is something I have been expecting. Oh yeah, baby, yeah.